Hi, it's Red Raven here, and welcome to my channel, my darlings. Today, I want to talk to you about the phrase, I'm fine. We all use this phrase in our daily lives, but it has a deeper meaning. Wouldn't you say? So, I'm fine is generally said because we don't want to tell someone how we're feeling, or we don't think someone is going to listen to us. Most of the time we don't say the word I'm fine because we are actually fine. So my suggestion is always ask someone twice, are you okay? Because the second time around, they might actually tell you what's wrong. I think the reason we also say I'm fine sometimes is because we're not sure how to explain to people how we're feeling. If we're going through a really depressive episode and no one else around us has it is or has gone through what we've gone through we're not sure how to deal with that we're not sure how to cope with that so we think oh if i say i'm fine it's just going to be easier than sitting there and explaining and then also sometimes which has been my experience is when someone said oh how are you and I, I, instead of saying i'm fine i've said i'm not okay they've been taken back because they've expected me to go I'm fine. So now they're like, oh crap, I actually have to engage with this person and ask them how they are. So I think we need to normalize that if someone asks someone if they're, if they're okay, that it's okay to not say, I'm fine. We're all struggling with depression, we're all struggling with trauma, PTSD, all of these things. And sometimes it would be so much nicer to not have to say, I'm fine, because you don't think that the person you're talking to is going to listen to you, is going to acknowledge what you say, or you don't, even, you don't want to spend your entire time with them explaining to them why you're not okay. So I get why most people say, I'm fine. But I just wanted to do this video to sort of go about the layers of this because saying I'm fine is not just one sentence. Saying I'm fine is I'm fine, but I'm feeling sad right now. I'm fine, but I'm breaking inside. I'm fine. I don't know how to do this right now. I'm fine. I don't want to talk about this because I don't know how. All of us say we're fine when we're not. And I'm here to tell you that it's okay to not be okay. And if someone doesn't want to speak to you about it, then we should be in that age where if you don't want to know if that person even if that person isn't okay, if they say they aren't okay, then don't ask them how they are if you're not prepared to help them. Because a lot of us say, I'm fine. I did it the other day at work. I was, um, I'd had a meltdown that whole day. I felt really stressed out. And I, I knew it was one of my um, co-workers that just, if I said anything more than I'm fine, they'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry. And it would be a really awkward exchange. So I just went, I'm fine. Was I fine? No, fuck no. I was not fine, I was not okay. I was breaking down, I was driving my car, doing my deliveries, I had, I had loads of shit going on, but I didn't know how to reach out to people. And I need you to know that you don't need to say that you're fine. <laughs> it's okay to not say that you're fine. And know that yes, there are some people that may not know how to deal with it, and they may not even know how to cope with it. But that doesn't mean that you have to basically take on board their issue with not being able to deal with it, you can still say, I'm not okay right now. And if they can't deal with it, they can't deal with it. But the more we put a mask on this situation, the harder it is to normalize not being okay. So if you're a person that said today, I'm fine when you weren't, I understand. It's really hard to just tell people how you feel because you feel like you're not going to be listened to and nobody cares because everybody wants you to be happy. That's what society 
teaches us, isn't it, that we need to be happy and we need to be okay and we need to be all right and we need to get a job, we need to work, we need to eat, we need, we need to do all that thing, retire and then die. Well, that's just no. No, we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. We need to feel our emotions, feel how we're feeling, cry, get angry, get annoyed, get frustrated, rather than everyone telling us, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Stop. Be happy. Be grateful. Be appreciative. You've got everything. Well, even, you know this to be true, even if everything is going well in our lives, we still get sad. We still get upset. And we're still not okay. So, say it with me. If you can. <laughs> it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to not say, I'm fine. It's okay to say, I'm not okay. I'm not fine. I'm not all right. I feel like crap. I feel like shit. It's okay. I know how hard it is to be honest with people sometimes because you just don't, you don't want to hear the, the noise or to hear people say, oh, but you're so lucky. Basically belittling your feelings. But you, you've got so much going on in your life. You're doing so well. You've got nothing to be sad about. You've got nothing to be angry about. You've got nothing to be annoyed about. Belittling your feelings. Everyone, even me, when things are going well, I still have breakdowns. I still have like, oh shit. Crap's hit the fan kind of moments, but to everyone else, my life may seem pitch perfect. It's okay to not be okay. Well, I just wanted to talk to you today about the phrase, I'm fine. And acknowledging that when someone says, I'm fine, it doesn't always mean that they're fine. So always ask twice, just to make sure. And try and be there for someone to listen. Okay, and that ends our video for today. I love you, you're amazing, you're wonderful, you're beautiful, you're awesome. Never stop being you. And I'll see you in the next video, my darlings, Red Raven out. Bye.